Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. Wanted to go ahead and share with you on a purchase I made. I was looking for a secondary camera um, when we're doing fishing, camping, hiking, all that good stuff. I currently have a GoPro Hero 4. Um, a lot of you guys probably have the Hero 4, maybe the Hero 5 by now or the older one. Um, but after doing a little bit of searching, I found a comparable camera. Um, had pretty good reviews. Um, called the Aitman uh, Full HD 1080p Action Camera. You guys can see that. So what I was looking for, um, basically a secondary camera. The, the uh, GoPro works great um, as far as the quality of sound. Uh, picture is great. Um, have no issues at all with it, but I'm looking for a secondary camera to get basically another view um, from a different angle. And that's where everybody said this Aitman uh, camera seems to do the job. They did say the quality of sound wasn't as good as the GoPro, um, but we're going to go ahead and put that to the test here with this video. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what all comes with it. Okay, that's what we got. Pull this out, it actually comes right there in the waterproof case already. Looks like we got a few other backs there for it. And again, it looks like a couple straps. There's a nice, uh, nice attachment for you guys that are doing fishing or hunting. Clip that thing to a tree. And what that does is there's different mounts. You take this piece off here. You that aren't familiar, slide that off, and then basically you put the two in there, and then you just stick the screw in. That's basically how swift, quick you can switch these mounts. So this mount here would work great. Obviously, you hook on a tree branch, hook on a pole behind the boat, um, whatever. So there's one of the mounts there. Another little. A little clip. This is just another screw and mount piece. A couple more different mounts. This one here is actually pretty nice. This is actually for the tripod. You can use it. It's like if you just want to put the camera on the tripod or somewhere separate without the waterproof case, you're going to use that. Another little mount. And a couple other mounts here. Got the USB cable. There you, go. you got a one battery here. And then a couple more mounts. This is with the cloth wipe the lens off. A couple stick on pieces here for the uh, for the mounts here that you want to put on your dash. Um, mount those on your dash, window, vehicles, pretty much whatever. So that's the sticky parts that, that go on that. Got your manual, and then got some extra zip ties. So that's pretty much that. Everything that comes, um, hopefully you can see there, that come in it. All the different mounts, and the batteries. So we'll go ahead and pick this up, and then we'll go ahead and pop the camera out. All right, let's take a look at the camera. Hopefully you can see that. Let's zoom in a little bit. There we go. Size it looks like in the waterproof case. Pretty much the same exact. I would say exact, but pretty darn close to the GoPro setup. I'll go ahead and pop this off. Let's see. Slide there. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. Pull it out. It's got a real nice feel to it. Here's the front. Back. And back. Okay. Right, take this piece off. Looks like you got all your ports on this side. Right there. Let's see if we can focus. Underneath. And there on the bottom. Take cover off. There's your uh, for your battery, right there. So let's go ahead and charge it up, 
and we'll turn on the GoPro as well and we'll do a little bit of comparison. All right, we got the two set up side by side, the Hero and the Apeman. We're gonna go ahead and talk about another purchase I made here with the Apeman. It's actually just an aftermarket, a couple aftermarket batteries. It's come in this little case here. Come with the USB cable. Got, got the charger. Plugs into the USB here. And you got your two batteries. Looks like they clip right in here as well. So there's the aftermarket batteries. And uh, they actually say eight men on them. So I don't know if they're actually aftermarket or not. But two batteries and a charger. And this was right at $11. So couldn't go wrong on that. So between the camera at $45, two batteries and the charger um, for 11 bucks. You know, you're looking at 55, under 60 bucks for everything, and that includes all the extra mounting brackets and the waterproof case and everything else that you've seen that come with the 8 minutes. So, let's go ahead and set this aside. And I've got one more other purchase that I made as well. Um, and this is actually called the Zuki Essential Accessory Kit. Um, so, I'll put a picture of that on there as well. I'm not sure if I pronounce that right, but it come with this hard carrying kit which we'll open that up here in a minute it's got all different kinds of mounts um, got your suction cup mount for a vehicle window got your flotation device so when you're on the lake you get that cool uh, floating in the water or actually it'll probably set like this point it straight down towards the fish so that's pretty cool Got a Velcro strap here. Um, oh, Velcro strap looks like it goes around through here for this piece, possibly. Uh, let's see. And this was actually right here is why I bought this thing. Um, this is actually the chest mount. All you guys see people wearing, you know, from their chest. And to buy this alone on Amazon was like 10, 12 bucks. So I figured, what the heck, I could buy all this stuff for the same price. So it comes with that as well. Got another mount here, put it on your wrist, put it wherever. Um, this has a piece of Velcro there. Another head mount as well, which I bought one of these already and I think I paid $8 or something like that for it. So they come with both of these and all this stuff for $11. Can't beat it. Here's a couple sticky pieces and your dash mount for your vehicle. And slide this out of the way. I'm just going to jump forward. Um, and this has all these different style of mounts. You can hook to the tree. Ones that go, have pivot points in them. Um, extra threading pieces. Some more dash mounts. I mean, you name it. Got all kinds of pieces. And also comes with this carrying case, which I forgot I had a sweet clip mount in there. As well as another one. And what's nice is, is this case actually has the spot you can put your camera in, plus whatever mount you're using. Seal it up. Hard top for that. So fit it all back in the bag. Now there is one feature. One feature that I want to talk about that the Aitman has, the GoPro doesn't. And that is actually zoom. See that there? It'll go ahead and zoom in. That's what it gives you there that the GoPro doesn't, that zoom. So let's go ahead and pull these cards out, throw them on the computer, and then we'll check out the video and audio quality. As always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button as well as subscribe. I really appreciate you guys watching this, and I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Thanks.